America just hit one of the one of the uh, highest one-day totals of new COVID cases since the start of the pandemic. So yesterday, White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows made a surprising statement about their plan to handle things and then tried to clean things up this morning. Take a look. We're not going to control the pandemic. We are going to control the fact that we get uh, vaccines, therapeutics, and other mitigation. Why are we going to get control of the because, pandemic? But, because it is a contagious virus, just like the flu. Yeah, the only person waving a white flag along with his white mask is Joe Biden. I mean, when we look at this, we're going to defeat the virus. We're, we're not going to control it. We will try to contain it as best we can. It's, I mean, I, it's nutty. I don't, I don't know what you've got. <laughs> I don't know what to think about any of this. But what do you make of these statements? I mean, it, it, you're not going to defeat it, but you are going to fight it, but you're not going to fight it the way the white mask is. What does this mean, Sonny? Did you, could you figure what he was talking about? <laughs> Well, you know, I think the first statement uh, that we heard from Mark Meadows is probably the most uh, candid statement that we've heard from the administration, that they are unable to contain the virus. They have been unable to contain the virus. And that is why uh, 200, you know, over 220,000 Americans ha have died, because this administration has been painfully and woefully inadequate and, and has mismanaged this pandemic. Um, you know, on Saturday, we've nearly, I think, 84,000 new cases uh, uh, came, came yeah. up. Um, and, and that is just 39 cases shy of uh, our all-time high in terms of contracting the virus. And, and experts have told right. us uh, and have told us repeatedly that if there was a national mandate to wear masks, 130,000 lives could be saved by the spring. Yet this administration has done nothing. So the yeah. fact now that Mark Meadows is again saying something like Joe Biden is waving a white mask, again ridiculing the fact that the vice president is following CDC guidelines, following science, and trying to save lives by example, um, just goes to show you where this administration is. Um, and it's, it's just very sad that they don't care about the American people. Well, Sarah, what did you think when you heard both of those explanations? I mean, what, why do you think they keep flubbing this? Well, I think that this has become all political strategy and not much public health. At this, uh, at this point, it doesn't serve them politically to talk about it because they haven't done well with it. So it continues to be politicized and downplayed with, as Sonny saying, on Friday having the highest day yet. These numbers are going back up with many more to come. And it's not about controlling the virus. It's about slowing down the infection rates and the deaths, <coughs> which keep spiking. They, they also keep talking about therapeutics and uh, the vaccine vaccination. But the problem there, we also know when this vaccination comes around and gets properly dispersed, we're going to have a long runway where we'll still need those masks. And those masks have been their sticking point this whole time. And without doing that hand in hand, we're just going to keep getting into these numbers higher and higher. And this problem is just not going to be getting any better anytime soon.